and get some sort of lead onto CJ and prevent that pretty terrifying late game scaling from this tanky composition. And it is time, guys. KT Rolster, CJ Entis. It's the main Black event. Side, but ambition starting on the jungle on the weak side, even though they initiated the lane swap. But you have to be so careful about that because it's really easy for. Oh, oh someday and score right here. Ambition in trouble. And first blood goes to someday. Wow, so, wow, that works. So greedy in terms of jungle pathing yeah. from ambition right there. Where Scuttle Crab in favor of CJ, but that's all the information they have. Ambition also topside. They're just going to have to give this one up. Uh, well, Mad Life in space, they want to try to stop it as much as they can. Sivralt activated. They managed to grab space. Can he get to the lantern in time? It's close, but it doesn't look like. Oh, oh. he gets it out. Wow, but there's Someday right there. He TP down, pushed against the wall, though, by Mad Life with that play. Someday still gets the kill with the tornado, though. Big ultimate from Shy, but nobody there to follow it up. Coco comes down a little bit late. They can turn onto him easily. Coco goes in. Manages to pick up the kill on the score, and now here comes Ambition. A bit of a long, protracted fight, but KT coming out on top after taking that dragon. Yeah. Oh, no, they didn't take the dragon. No, they didn't get the dragon. Get they it. just started it and turned immediately. Huh. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe Randwins, maybe? Oh, uh, yeah, perhaps. Uh, score goes in on the Mad Life there. Space fighting out with Someday. They blocked a little bit of action from the wind wall. There's the last breath. Someday with another kill. Well, this that's the thing. Yasuo is working out pretty well on this Yasuo as well. For now, it's looking a lot like that GBM game where GBM did really well early and then Yasuo's flaws became very apparent as the game went on. But you know what, Doa? It's a different what? build this time. So It oh is indeed. My. Ult on to Coco. Can he get to the Lantern? Oh, nice pulling in. Oh, he doesn't oh! make it out. Oh, the auto attack followed him all the yep. way through the Lantern. <laughs> Position though, you pick Cast and Urga, you know, you know you're going to lose your outer, t your outer ring faster. That's pretty much a given. Yeah. Oh boy! Oh, if that hook had hit, maybe CJ would have had a chance. Coco coming in from some damage onto Nagne. KT back away. Ambition coming in gets a knock up only onto Fixer. Damage, nice all done to space, knocking up Shy in the process as well too. Big explosive cast pushes Mad Life back in there. Someday gets into the back lines but gets taken down very low. Still, they manage to pick up a kill onto Mad Life. And whoa, KT is very low right now. But some kills come in for Nagne and KT able to barely clean up that that fight. Nagne, we'll there's the flash kill. distortion. Yep. Triple kill for Nagne. Uh, this yeah. is. It's not that big of a mistake from Ambition, but they did all the right things uh -oh. to maximize their benefit. Here we go. Fixer gets grabbed. Now Ambition tossed into the Yasuo out again. Meanwhile, Nagne just blows up Shy. You just cannot get caught by this KT team. There goes another one. Double kill again for Nagne. Fixer in trouble here. Space uses that position reverser. Space getting very low. Another kill comes in for Someday. Yeah, KT. Yeah, it wasn't up. Oh, here we go. Mad Life trapped against the wall. Space in a lot of trouble too. Can he get to the lantern? Uses a position reverser. Gets himself away from the lantern. Whoops. Oh, space. Oh. oh, well. Did go for that IE first, but I mean, it still works. Nice wind wall to block that. Ambition again caught. He's just not been in good position. There goes Mad Life immediately. Coco in a lot of trouble as well. Last breath on the space. Oh. And Coco for a double kill. Coco tries to get away, but there's a kill for Nagne. Nagne has been such good cleanup. Looks like the turret is going to do what CJ hasn't been able to and finally kill someday. But uh, it took two, two turrets right there. KT just such an overwhelming advantage. And yeah. This is looking much more like the KT that we saw towards the end of last season. Just incredibly hard driving team that if you give them a lead like this, they will just continuously dive you and fight you and play out that lead quite well here. There's not really anything KT's been doing that's been overly risky. It's just been very punishing play. Right. And so two inhibitors taken down by KT now. Tapiaso was the biggest factor in this game. Toma. I mean, they're playing. I'm not saying that, but I, I'm saying they're doing it well. You know, they're yes, playing into that it is well. True. Yeah. And we saw, just like we saw GBM play it well. Oh, score. A little bit caught. Fixer comes in. Explosive cast teleport coming in for CJ as well, too. Arrow loading on some damage. Shy zoning gets a stun on the score here. Coco in the back line. Someday comes in a bit late here. Nogne joining the back of the fight as well, too. A kill for Shy comes in initially. KT finally grouping up onto the sort of fractured CJ, but they need to make a retreat here. Someday going in after Coco turns on to Shy. Now Nogne, again, just doing such a good job cleaning up. Space finally gets caught here as a double kill for Nogne comes in. Might go for this triple. No, turning on to Shy. Yeah, you'll get that triple. There it goes. 
Go. Okay, there it is. Triple kill. Wow, another multi kill for Nagne and showing why. Yeah, oh, alt again. Nagne gets hooked. And KT trying to find someone. They alt onto Ambition. Fixer grabs that. Lantern again. Shy hopping over. They want to save it for Ambition. Can he grab it? No. Arrow gets that kill. They're going to pull in Fixer with the death sentence. Put him in the box. Space coming in now. Will he find a position reverser target? Doesn't look like it. So they got the support, but Fixer had already used his alt, so. And he's Hasagiing through the minion wave as they slowly now hopefully don't overdive this turret any longer and prolong the massacre that we are currently enduring. You mean enjoying? Enjoying, yes. I'm, en I'm enjoying, you may not be. Oh, Coco. All right, here we go, and the ult on the space here. Explosive counts doesn't do a whole lot, but they do grab ambition out of everything. Another kill comes in, Shy knocking everybody away, but they're gonna need more than that. Someday, getting in the back lines, on the Mad Life gets one kill. Coco very, very low, position reversal use. Double kill now for Arrow. And this game is over. They're just going into the Nexus turrets now, and KT coming in, getting the damage done in the early game and snowballing so well off of that early advantage, making it look easy with a 22,000 gold lead at the end. GG. Yeah, KT ending the game with more kills than minutes just for them. Wow. So, big, big bloodbath. Double-double for someday at the end there. Yeah, 4 KT rollster. Yeah. And Nagne finishes 13-0 and 7 as well, so big time performances. Really good.